Welcome to Shooter Sunday, seven day game. I'm your host, the Insomniac, and this is Brutal Doom. Now if you don't know what this is, Brutal Doom is a mod for the original Doom that was made for the Zandronum engine. Now, Zandronum is a Doom interpreter. It takes actual Doom maps and converts them into 3D maps. Because the original Doom was not 3D. It was a top-down shooter carefully disguised as 3D. There's an interesting digressing and side-questing episode on the subject that I'll link to in the description. I suggest if you're a fan of Doom that you check it out. Because, uh, Doom only fakes 3D. And it doesn't even do so through the very simple ray-casting method that was done by its predecessor, uh, Wolfenstein 3D. That, yeah, that was actually kind of obvious and very easy to, uh, very easy to understand. And... There we go. Yeah. So, Zandronum by itself adds a lot, including, obviously, mousing. Brutal Doom took what Zandronum added and ran with it. Since you have mouse aim, you can now target individual parts of your enemy. Kinda hard to do with a shotgun, but, you know. For instance, I just shot this guy's leg off. I'm do a quick check through the area for some more help. You also get your pistol replaced with an automatic rifle. Armor, god damn it. You get your pistol replaced with an automatic rifle, which has iron sights and is very accurate at long range. And... Well, the enemies are much faster, more aggressive, and do more damage. Your enemy's projectiles are also faster, and do more damage. Now, this isn't just a difficulty increase, obviously. And the things it's added do actually add a lot to the game. Besides just making it really gory. That was all of E1M1. As you can tell, I, I have a music replacer as well. Brutal Doom doesn't come with one, but it's pretty easy to find it. Now... Unfortunately, a lot of the game's problems haven't been fixed. Like, you get jumped an awful lot as soon as you start the level. And armor is as useless as ever. In order for armor, uh, armor points to really work in a shooter, you need to have it absorb more of your, uh, you need to have it absorb more damage than your health does when you have it. And yet in Doom, even this armor, the Mega Armor, only absorbs half, the regular armor absorbs a third, and if you don't have any armor, but you do have armor points, it absorbs a quarter. And that just doesn't work. As a result, you lose health considerably faster than you lose armor, pretty much all the time. The actual number of armor points you have is usually irrelevant. It's really just the type of armor you have that makes a difference. 
That isn't a functional system. And you can't say I'd be unbalancing to have much stronger armor because both Half-Life and Half-Life 2 did have much stronger armor. And they managed to balance it pretty well. Even if you got large numbers of armor points, it wasn't unbalancing the slightest. And it didn't make the amount of health you have irrelevant either, if that's what you're going to say. In fact, there's no negative impact to it, it was just better balance. If I was to go back through this, I would set it up so... I don't know, Mega Armor absorbs... Uh, Four fifths, while regular armor absorbs two thirds, and not having any armor, but having armor points, probably from bonus pickups, would absorb half and just leave it at that. That would work very well. As that would make it relevant how much health you have and how much armor you have, not just if you have armor. And that would also... Yeah. That would also, on the other hand, make it so you go through armor points faster, but it doing more makes it, it makes that okay. And they sure do give you a lot of armor pickups anyway. You're too many, actually. That's another part of what makes uh, how much armor you have irrelevant. I'll show you guys, uh, well, I don't have a self-made mod for this. I do have a self-made mod for uh, Half-Life, which will go into roughly my philosophy on, uh, on health and armor pickups, at least. That was a lot of ammo gone in a hurry. But they just about shower you in ammunition in the first world, so that's fine. Now, I'm not going to be doing a lot of secret hunting, so if you're looking for secrets, look at someone else's channel. Oh, I'm out of armor. Yeah, I go back and pick something up. Hmm. Right over here. Minus one third incoming damage. There we go. That could be. I mean. Ugh. 
That could be as low as 67. It wouldn't make any difference to my character's survivability. There we go. As you notice, you do have to reload now. Which puts a pretty hefty weakness on the shotgun, but... It's still really effective. And it provides you a reason to switch weapons a lot in combat. You may have also noticed the melee attack. The kick doesn't do much damage, but it does a pretty good job of knocking enemies back. Eh, never mind, this damage is alright. Yep. Well, that didn't work out. I say I am on ultra violence, and I'm not the best at shooters. I've always respected Doom for, uh, at least on its upper, uh, on its upper difficulties. For not just making you feel like a badass, but actually requiring you to be one. A game like this needs to be difficult, or it's just disingenuous. I'm just gonna let the monster infighting happen. Hmm, the M Swan. Doesn't always happen that way. I guess there's more of them. You think, well, of course the demons beat the humans, but. Doesn't always work out that way in uh, Brutal Doom. May have been the original Doom. But these guys, these regular soldiers, are pretty damn strong in this one. They're really fragile. They're always really fragile. And the, um, the degree to which they're really fragile hasn't changed. I mean... Not anymore that has for other enemies. But their damage has gone up so much more than the other uh, enemies in the game. And not just their damage, but their rate of fire. And their aggression and accuracy.
And as a result, they usually win monster end fighting with imps. Because they are substantially stronger than imps now. Through sheer damage output. Got that music, too. Everything about this, man. Just makes a Doom fan weep tears of joy. As I say again, their damage output is so much better in this game than it used to be. I mean, it's the extent their damage output is as high as yours. Because their rifle and their shotgun do just as much damage, the same rate of fire and accuracy. Monster infighting involving the, uh, involving the ex-humans, the possessed, is really, really quick. I've also noticed that they can damage each other, but I don't think that applies to other, uh, enemies. Monster infighting didn't used to occur between characters of the same type, between enemies of the same variety, because they couldn't damage each other. Yeah, you see how quick that was? If I can just find some mega armor, that would be nice. Because as long as I have it, it's basically cutting damage in half. Granted, your armor doesn't do... I still think your armor doesn't do enough and lasts too long. To the point where it's largely irrelevant how much you actually have. Even right now, yeah, so my character has substantially more health than armor, but if he is start getting attacked, his his armor would still outlast his health. So, what's the point? health. <clears throat> hey, there's another one. I only died before I could get him. Yep. By the way, you'd be right in observing that the rifle only does m as much damage per shot as an individual shotgun pellet. But that's okay. 
is it fires, obviously, much quicker, more accurately, and at longer range. So even with its relatively low damage output, it's pretty good. Actually, overall, prefer it. Also, you get more ammo for it. Very slow with the spending characters. Also, have your shotgun ready every time you open a door. They just love to put enemies right on the other side of a door. Now, this show right here is very easy to edit, so it's going to be a longer one. I'm just going to go all the way through. To the end of episode one. Really? All of those guys, and you thought you were gonna make a difference. Fuck yourself. By the way, that isn't just uh, that isn't just for catharsis. That actually does something. Oh, another thing that makes these guys so rough, these guys in particular, is that unlike the uh, imps, their projectiles are actually really fast. They're still not hit scan, nor are they nearly as fast as bullets really should be. But you aren't going to be dodging. You can just move evasively and hope they miss. And by move evasive, uh, by move evasively, I basically just mean keep moving. Soul Spear. Oh, I should have picked up the health pickups before I. Well, that one's my fault. For the record, I actually have no idea if jumping uh, will prevent me from taking damage. Yep. What do you really say about this? By the way, I'm pretty sure about this. Uh, I don't think it's ever addressed in the lore. But I don't think these demons die for good. I mean, when you kill- they're coming here from hell, right? When you kill a demon, where does it go? I mean, to hell. So, if they're already coming over from hell, you kill them, they go back to hell, couldn't they come right back? I mean, who knows how many of these little uh, five-second fights are revenge matches. All right. Now 
Now, I don't know what effect, if any, because I was complaining about armor earlier. I don't know what effect, if any, this mod actually has on armor. But it didn't say anything about armor, so I'm assuming not. If I'm wrong, please do let me know. Well, this is bad. Yeah, I'm gonna run the fuck away now. So Robin ran away, bravely ran away, away. Ah, there we go. Well, what was I supposed to do? I had three health left. Danger reared its ugly head, I bravely turned my tail and fled. Loser. Yeah, they weren't kidding, by the way, when they said that this was considerably more difficult than the original. And the original wasn't exactly, uh, the original wasn't exactly Call of Duty, you know? It had some difficulty to it to begin with. Real difficulty. Not just a lot of waiting. On, oh, I'm, I'm seriously not kidding. Keep your shotgun ready every time you're about to go through a door. Because they really, really love to put an enemy right on the other side of the door. They do it all the time. Okay, so I haven't totally made up my mind what I'm going to do after Brutal Doom. Now, I am going to continue with Doom, but the question is, should I do Brutal Doom 2? Because Brutal Doom does also work for Doom 2. So I'm just going to leave that up to you guys. In the comments, go ahead and vote on whether I should do Brutal Doom 2, considering Doom 2 was one of the weaker entries in the series. I would personally say the weakest entry in the series, but plenty of people disagree with me. And it's basically more of the same. So, go ahead, tell me, should I do... Yeah, should I do Brutal Doom 2? Or should I just go straight to Doom 3? Which, yes, is what I'm going to be doing next. Now, I don't have the BFG edition. I'm gonna let you know that right now. The copy of Doom I have is an old one on CD. And it is not BFG edition. It's just Doom 3. So, I will not have a flashlight and a gun at the same time. 
and other than that, it's basically the same game. A supposed graphical difference isn't even that significant. I mean, BFG Edition didn't really look much better by my standards. It looked pretty much the same. I don't know, maybe I need a side-by-side -side comparison to be able... Eh, whatever. Hey look, dead guys. Yeah, I need to switch weapons now. I really need to remap that. I'll, I'll have that remapped by the, uh, by the time I do episode two. And yeah, I really am going to plow through the entirety of uh, Doom's episode one today. All the way past the Barons of Hell. By the way, I gotta say, do you see the... Uh, have any of you played the new Doom yet? Because I haven't. Oh my god, the new monsters look awesome. Now they look pretty epic in uh, in Doom 3, actually. That's one of the strong points of the game, I think, was the appearance of the enemies. And it also played pretty well as a horror game, if not necessarily as a Doom game. So, I liked Doom 3. But, Doom 4 has even better enemy design. Blow up already! Why wouldn't that barrel explode? Okay, well... And here I'd been hoping I could get that to explode in one shot. Apparently I do need to use a rifle for that. It's okay, as I said, I do actually prefer the rifle for the most part. Yeah, the rifle has somewhat lower damage output than the shotgun because it only does as much damage per uh, yeah, per projectile, and the shotgun shoots more at the same time. It's faster firing and more accurate. Not enough to uh, change its DPS difference at close range and in the short term, but when you're farther away from enemies, the shotgun's damage drops off uh, a lot faster. Though in neither case is it really all that fast. Yeah, see how much easier it is? To set off barrels with this thing? Oh, and by the way, do not reload the shotgun in the middle of a fight. It takes a lot longer to reload than the rifle does, for obvious reasons. So, when you... S yeah. Reload after fights, and reload... Uh... Reload after fights, don't reload in fights. If you run low on ammo in the shotgun during a fight, it would have been better to do with the rifle. If you run low on ammo to use in a fight while using the shotgun, just switch to the rifle. It'll save you a lot of grief.
By the way, the minigun and chainsaw still both absolutely wreck Pinky. Because it gets stunned by every hit, right? So every time you hit him with a projectile from this weapon, he gets stunned. And this is a really, really rapidly firing weapon. So you basically just lock him in the am uh, in the animation as long as you keep shooting him. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I know I'm using him right now, but I kind of wish these guys were uh, considerably weaker. At least that they had less health. Is he gonna follow or what? Well, at least he's following now. Yep. Boy, I just keep getting stuck there, don't I? And very unfortunately, I had a shotgun out when I started this level. <sighs> I could be here a while. I want to be here a while, but it could be. Problem solved. Not that it really matters how much armor my character has. Even if I had mega armor, the extra armor pickups wouldn't make any difference because I have more armor than health. That's why. That's again, that's why I said. Excuse me? That's why I say you need armor. In shooters where you have armor points, you need armor to be burned through faster than health or it doesn't work. The armor is just too weak in this game, and it lasts too long. So, it really should be more like, as I said, half, two thirds. And so, instead of one quarter, one third, and a half, it should be half, two thirds, and I don't know, three quarters or four fifths. Four fifths is what it's uh, is what it's at in Half Life 2, by the way. Just as a comparison. And while they had entirely too few armor pickups in Half Life 2, it worked really well when you had it, didn't it? And it was gone really quick, so it was yeah, so it was never just assumed that you would have it all the time. Or armor and doom is pretty much a given. Minigun in this elevator is two pinkies. Suck my stun lock, bitch! Yeah. It's really just Pinkies that it does that to, by the way, because Pinkies, for some reason, despite having so much health, get stunned literally every time they get hit. By any weapon. Need a blue key. Figures. 
blue keys down here, so... I really do have to clear this area. That went considerably smoother. Like, as far as I'm concerned, it is totally okay for this guy to do as much damage as my character, be as fast as my character, all that's okay, but does he really have to have as much health? Because he lasts so long, you can basically just let him do everything himself. I know I'm complaining about something I totally just needed to get through that area, but come on. Okay, mega armor now, please. weird that those aren't activating. I'll just leave the area and come back and see if it works then. I really need that mega armor. I'm fucked up. By the way, I like that you bleed when your health gets low. But it doesn't really mean anything, because it's not like you continually lose health or something. Like, if you lost a hit point every 10 seconds or so... Wow. Then that's lost forever, isn't it? Was that just stuck? It was just stuck. Don't know why it was stuck, but apparently it was stuck. Oh shit! You guys may see me fail at this an unfortunate number of times. Or not. Okay, okay. We can get out of here. Or, wait, was there something on the other side too? Did I do that just for a mega armor? I thought I was coming back here for the freaking key. Totally sure we're uh, we're good to go in here. Shotgun ready. By the way, my theory that uh, the demons are coming back after they get killed also explains. Why there's more possessed than demons at the very beginning of the game, and way more demons than possessed at the end. It's because the possessed are being permanently destroyed and the demons are not. That said, we still have no clue at all 
uh, how exactly some people are being turned and some aren't. There's two theories. One of them is that it only works on people who are asleep. And you were uh, you were awake at the time. The other theory is that you have to actually be killed. Or well, actually, there's a third. Third is that you have to be hit by a lost soul, like in Doom Three. But people like to dismiss that one out of hand because it came from Doom Three. And there's a pretty obsessive running hatred in the fan base towards Doom 3. The point of even trying to pretend it's not a game. I've heard people say that Doom 3 isn't a game. Yeah, I can't see a damn thing. I'm just gonna have to lure these guys out. Okay, okay, that was a bad idea. Don't play reflex games with a computer. Somebody needs to fix the lights in this room. I don't think there's anything that we uh, won't have to fight enemies to pick up. Hmm. There we are. I always get fucking lost in this one. Am I alone in that? Anyone else always get lost here? I could have sworn I saw an invisible pinky. Yeah, just be careful about uh, enemies that you haven't finished off. Because they will switch to a pistol if you give them a second. Very often. And when they do that, they may not be as damaging as they were before. Uh, the pistol bullets do the same damage as the rifle bullet. Um, or the individual projectiles from the shotgun. And obviously, it fires slower, and only one at a time, but they're pretty accurate with it, and they can still do a considerable amount of damage in a relatively short time frame. It's time to clear the hell out of here.
shit, my mega armor is about to break. If I take even one more hit, I'm gonna lose my mega armor. That would be really bad. As I stated, as long as you have the armor, it really doesn't matter how much you have. I was about to not have it, and I... shit, I don't have it. Well, now I'm down to just these things, which only absorb a quarter of incoming damage. This isn't gonna work out. I'm heading this way because I know there's a suit of armor here. It's just the regular armor. But even so... Good lord. By the way, I think when you're aiming down sight that you may actually do more damage. I'm not sure by how much or if that's even the case, but it definitely feels like you do more damage. Might just be a difference in accuracy. I don't know. Ow! As you notice, you do have to... Yeah, this has less spread. And gives you a better idea where you're aiming. Rather than the very loose idea you have without it. Because you don't have a crosshair. So that's a big benefit. Don't have much choice now, do I? It's either shotgun or rocket launcher. Actually, let's... Shotgun it is. Yeah. Obviously, I need a blue key. Let's go figure out where that blue key is. Okay, you waste your time over there and die in the acid, that's fine. I'll do this without you. Take no prisoners. Not that I have the option. Let's reload this. And 
that we have the blue key, let's get back over there. Where did our guy go, anyway? Hm, whatever. It's okay. It's not like I need him. Cruelty bonuses. What will they think of next? By the way, uh, as some of you may have noticed that occasionally, yeah, occasionally on the upper left, you'll very briefly see uh, a recording mark and elapsed time. I can see that all the time. It's supposed to be edited out. But for some reason, sometimes it just isn't. And generally only for a frame or two. I'm looking into that. It won't last very long. But I need something there to make absolutely sure that I'm actually recording. Because I've had some problems today. I might turn it back off. Or I might change recording software to something that does a better job editing that out. But either way, it's not that big of a deal and it is out of the way, so just please ignore it if you can. Come to think of it, I want you to ignore it. Bringing attention to it is probably the worst way to go about it. This Is there still an invisible pinky? Nope. And now, since we have the yellow key, it's time to get out of here. Now, it looks like that dude really did end up getting himself killed in the, uh, in the acid. That's where he went. Shit. I actually legitimately did not see the invisible pinky. You know, when I say it out loud like that, that sounds... Eh, redundant. I didn't see the thing I can't see! Alright. You wanna go? So, yeah, it reminds me, there's a, there's a thing over here somewhere. Ow! You suck. God damn it! It is really, really hard to hit things that are beneath you in this game.
because you can't aim down very well. That really messes with your perspective. Yeah, I'm about to die. Just do it. Do it. So this is rough. Absolutely not picking that up. I am not picking that up until I have everything I possibly can. Make this as manageable as as uh, as humanly possible. I'm still almost certainly gonna lose my mega armor. All right. Managed it. We managed it. And we still have our mega armor. That feels good. By the way, having three different types of armor in this game is also an unnecessary complication of the show particularly dislike. Especially since picking up a weaker variety of armor, except for the helmets, will <laughs> will actually remove your your uh, stronger armor. Making it often a bad idea to pick up armor pickups. Put that on the list of things that I think Doom 3 did better in the rest of the series. And Doom 4 did that well too, so, you know. Except Doom 4 has armor as hit points. <sighs> I mean, they do more than just act as help, as, uh, just act as hit points. Supposedly, having, uh, armor also reduces the amount of damage that is, that you actually end up taking, but... I don't know. Bye. Why did I get a cruelty bonus? All I did was shoot him twice with a shotgun. Oh yeah. Every 
one of these guys I kill now will give me health. As long as I melee them. And it's a permanent increase to melee damage. Permanent is in for the rest of the mission. And we have now officially lost our armor. Shit. Oh well. At least we still have armor. Even if we no longer have mega armor. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop fucking around and take these things out. I'm sorry, does, does anyone else want some? I got plenty left to give. I mean, I can take it and dish it out. I'm just gonna leave that area to him. Or, you know, I have a rocket launcher. I ain't worry about this dipshit. Oh, shut up. <laughs> too bad, uh, too bad the permanent damage boost doesn't stack, huh? Otherwise, I'd be doing triple melee damage now. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of pickups. Excuse me, does anyone else want some? Not a chance. In your case, at least. I'll, I'll be fine. Can you please move? You keep blocking my shots. Alright. Well, that went well. Is that it? Is that really it? Because we're pretty much done with this mission. Wow, that's that's really it. We just got one last fight to do. And we're clear.
Okay. We are so far over time, it's not even funny. Oh. As I said, I'm going all the way through this today. There we go. That was pretty epic. Oh yeah. Stay frosty indeed. Because they pull that shit all the goddamn time. That's just an incredibly pleasing theme. Okay, the computer station, and then the Phobos Anomaly. And we'll be done for the day. Good lord! That's a lot of assholes at once. Oh. I tell you, man. Hey, it's everything that's gonna attack us right off the bat. We are still way past time! <laughs> you can only imagine how long it's gonna take to upload. The really weird thing is that is the uh, FPS count that I'm getting on the upper left. It says 700 or 800 pretty much all the time. That's just absurd. I really do need to do some kind of FPS limiter or something just to get that working. That's not supposed to happen. Yeah, because the number of frames per second wasn't capped in the original uh, in the original Doom either, so. I <laughs> yeah. Alright. Yeah, you see how much damage those guys do? It's nuts, ain't it? Every one of the shotgun guys is an, is absolutely a threat. Actually, every enemy is absolutely a threat. Urso. Uh, Doom Guy is a guy.
I am. Huh. Okay, so that's all of them. Pick this up and get a move on. That was loud. Imp actually won that one. Not usually how that goes. Well, I think we're doing okay. I basically just stand here and pick off guys. We won't encounter until way later in this stage. Make the late stage a whole lot easier. By the way, the hitboxes in this uh, seem a little wonky. A lot of those, either that or the sights are off. Apparently finishing an enemy with a point-blank headshot counts as cruel? Me counts as efficient. Dealing with enemies below you, use the shotgun. Its spread makes it considerably easier. Now, I believe I can skip most of the stage. And a couple good jumps. All right. Really? Fucking phones going off. My Skype to be more accurate. Like, my channel may only have 400 subscribers, none of which subscribe to see Let's Plays. I still have more dignity than to answer the fucking phone while recording. Of course, by the time this airs, I might have more subscribers. I don't know. I mean, we're talking a difference of two weeks, almost. Not... Not almost, just two weeks. Well, you think I'm far ahead in my recording now? <laughs> oh, I've only just begun. Alright. 
I'm just gonna kick here. How about that? Shit, two of them. A complete lack of flinch resistance on Pinky is just wonderful. Makes them very easy to deal with when otherwise they would be a very high damage enemy. Just switch to your fastest firing weapon and let loose. Yep. Oh, well, that worked. Wonder if I. F well, I get a bonus for just flipping them off and letting them bleed to death. Would that count as cruel? It seems cruel. This game's definition of cruel and mine seem to differ pretty wild. There we go. A shotgun sure is effective. The rifle, too. Hey, secret. Not much of a secret, but a secret. Quick, before the green wires off, let's get over there and pick up that soul sphere. Because, plainly, that is a more important secret. A hundred extra health. Rather than, like, four extra health. Ooh, mega armor. Now, as long as we can maintain that, we are gonna kick so much ass. Let's just re-enter from this little spheres and stop fucking around out here. I don't know how much longer a pickup's gonna last. In fact, it seems to have, uh... Yeah, there, it's gone. And yep, pretty brutal. But brutality is the name of the game. Now let's figure out where to put this blue key. For a second there, I thought he might still be alive. Here we go, here's where we need a blue key. Ah, shit. You people have overstayed your welcome, you know? Pickups leading us over here, so there must be some larger reward. These people understood that much in the way of game design. Ah, right, this is how you need to progress through the level. Okay. That works too. They weren't going to send us all the way over there through those enemies for regular armor pickups. Well, I was hoping a demon strength rune right at the end of the level. There's one guy left in range. Oh well. And now it's time for the now it's time for the Phobos anomaly and the end of this episode. We've got almost an hour and a half. <laughs> 
least this is a short one, you know? That used to give my computer such hell. That really did. It used to really fuck up my computer when I did that in the original Doom. Like, it'd take 10 or 15 seconds just to, like, deal with it. Just for a slowdown to end. Yep. Yeah. That'd be pretty much capped out on shotgun shells. That's about as many bullets as we're gonna carry. Ain't giving any extra rockets, which, you know, whatever. Don't really need them. Yeah, these guys are gonna cut out pretty easy. Now we're out of pinkies. Got nobody left to block our shots. Barons of hell. Easiest boss fight ever. Why am I still picking shit up? I already know better. So, that was it. That was our first episode of Shooter Sunday. And that was our first episode of Brutal Doom. In fact, that's the entire first episode of Brutal Doom. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. Until they never intended for you to be able to look up. Ah. Uh. Well. I'll see all of you next week. Yeah, we still have two more episodes of other shows today, obviously, but... I'll see all of you next week. Where we continue on the shores of hell. Take it easy. Or alternately rip and tear, but... Take it easy.